there's the figures about the maglev here in Changsha. So there's two things that I uh, discuss uh, in my videos. One is the cost, and that's uh, one aspect that they discuss here. They say the cost of subway is 600 to 800 million yuan per kilometer, and the rail, the maglev, is only 200 to 300 million yuan which means way cheaper. That's interesting that they will tell you the figures just like this. In fact, it means that I'm not the only one who uh, discuss this. Uh, and that's why they start to tell, uh, uh, explain about this. Another thing is they tell us about the radiation. So they say it's low radiation and they say less than a microwave. Um, less than a microwave. Even though I'm a little bit concerned because, you know, the, I believe uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that China is the only place where they build all these maglev train and in many other projects in many other countries were abandoned because they were concerned about the radiation. So here they tell you about the radiation that is my, no impact on your health and it's less than um, a microwave, but uh, I'm not sure. And anyway, so that's that's I'm glad that they explained this so you know because these are two uh, uh, things that I discuss with you quite a lot the cost and the radiation and the potential cancer effect on your health and the fact that they discuss it it also means that there has been many criticism and many people were coming there and telling okay this is too expensive it's not worth it or uh, this has really some impact on your health uh, it might not be such a good project you know um, but um, they tell you uh, they have the studies here so interesting uh, let me get on the, the maglev and I will talk to you uh, in a while let me just give this back to, to the lady but it's her let me get on the maglev okay <coughs> I think I can go on from the other door from the back door <laughs> so how many stations they have like three stations uh, anyway, it's just like everybody wants to stand in front so, okay. okay and I, I will leave you for now huh? oh, let's wait a little bit longer <coughs> So I think you will be very um, you will be very pleased that I show you the maglev because I know you've been asking me for this maglev for a while. You know many of you were like asking me, ah, can you take the maglev, please, George? Just show us the maglev. So today I show you the maglev. <laughs> I'm filming now, so maybe after. Okay. Yeah. So here we go. So you can see, in fact, oh, that's interesting from this side, because you see. Uh, it's all under construction everywhere and why is this because that's that's how they do it usually you have um, a whole new district that they build 
So they decided, okay, we'll have this maglev here and we'll have the train station here. And it's very far away from the city center, but they will start building everywhere uh, in a place that once used to be the field. And of course, there's a lot of money to be made. And that's, that's, that's the whole thing. <coughs> Look at this. <coughs> Honestly, I wouldn't like to live there because I think if you face the maglev, even though it's less than a microwave, and you live just here, a few meters away, every day you go get maybe this kind of wave. I'm not sure. I have I'm no idea. I have no knowledge of this, but. Uh, I don't trust. I don't trust. Not uh, it's nothing specific to China, but it's just you know you need to have the trust, and the trust for me is not there, no matter where, either in, even in France, even in New Zealand, even in the USA. I don't trust so much the authorities or the companies because when you have money on one side and people's life and people's health on the other side, then the choice is very simple. So 4.29 billion yuan. I will have to calculate how much it is in uh, in dollar. It's like uh, several million, several million. Uh, no, 104 billion, billion 4.29. I will have to calculate. Here you have some kind of factory. Uh, I think these are shipping. See. Only the trucks that deliver deliver some some supply come here. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea about this part of the city. I've never been there. <laughs> and it really looks like the countryside. Oh. It's building so much. Look on this side. A new road. In fact, it's interesting when you are on this train, you can really feel that it doesn't touch the ground because you can feel it's like vibrate. You can feel it's magnet uh, train because it's like you are standing on some kind of platform or something. You can feel it. You can feel it. It doesn't go very fast. So I think they told us the maximum speed was like 100 kilometers. And that's it, huh? so on Changsha Maglet later. Uh, I will leave you huh, for now. They planted trees everywhere here. It's also part of the image. Like you have maybe the uh, the people coming from the airport and they will take this Maglet train and they, have, they need to have a nice view on both sides. So that's why they will plant the trees. Yeah. I don't know what else. <laughs> I was, I am not finished. Sorry, but, uh, is that, is that okay? yes, 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 I'm still. So. Here we arrive, we reached uh, the middle station and we are going to the. Uh, oh, well. And that's anyway, I will, I will take time to answer them because I'm down with it. I can just walk a little bit. I will walk here and come back and then I, then I will answer their question. I don't care about the equation. <laughs> okay, here it is. You see, magnet lift. Oh, it's a building on both sides. 
Okay. So see you next time, everyone. See you next time.